Hey guys, Simply Cola here, and today we're going to be doing kind of like a new unboxing sort of situation. This is from a place called Thread Up, and they are a used clothing website, kind of like thrift store shopping online. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I had to run downstairs and get the box. <sighs> it's kind of a heavy box. It's a big box. This is the box. It's a really big box. <laughs> I'm really excited to try everything out. It is polka dotted. It says the red up. I'm excited to try it. It came with a $10, it was $10 for the box to come and that included shipping. Well, that doesn't, I mean, there was no shipping charge, so what am I trying to say? It's normally, I guess, a $20 fee, but because this was my first box, it was $10. And you look inside the box, kind of like Stitch Fix, you look inside the box, pick what you want, return what you don't want, and there you go. Oh, and anything you buy goes towards the $10 that you used to get the box sent to you. So I'm very, ex very excited. I'm very excited. So let's take a look back at past Nicole, um, who went ahead and did the order. And I'll show you guys how the order went down. Guys, I'm just putting in my email address just to, I don't know, get logged in. I hate it when websites do that, but you know, what are you going to do? So here we go. I'm going to obviously do that later because I don't care. This is just to show you guys how it works. And so here we go. Let's go to goodie boxes because that's what we're talking about. And custom goodie box. Why not? Let's see what the happenings are. So here you can scroll down. You can see the different kinds of options that they have um, where you can do like a mix or if you have like a certain, you know, sort of style that you're going for, uh, which is kind of fun. It's supposed to help you, you know, get a better box. I don't know. So I picked just for you because I was like, Hey, I don't really know what I want. So I just chose a couple things. I really liked dresses, tops and shorts, but I didn't choose shorts. Did I? I chose active wear. Oh wait, did I? Oh, I did choose shorts. How come they didn't give me any shorts? I don't know. This was a long time ago, guys. So I picked my sizes, medium and large and my dress sizes, which currently are actually different because I filmed this video like four months ago. So yeah. And yeah, so if you wonder why I look a little different in these videos versus currently, that is why. And if you guys are interested in me doing a video about like, you know, how I did my weight loss or anything like that, let me know and I can do a video on that. So here you also just put in what brands you buy. I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I'm sure you can see that you guys, you know, you're humans and you can read, so it's fine. And I had to put in my information, which don't look, don't look at my age. Don't look at it. It says I'm old. I am old. Also, who knows how tall I am? My weight <laughs> made that up, definitely. So, um, yeah. <laughs> what should we avoid? I don't know. Did I fill any of this out? Um, I have no freaking idea what I did. So, I guess I didn't. <laughs> I guess it didn't matter. Maybe I should have put hot pink in there. Oh, well, you guys haven't seen that yet. So, Anyway, here's the description of what's happening. Free shipping, free returns, 15 items for $20 a piece about. I did pick the cheapest package that they had as an option and you can see it got discounted. So I am back and this is regular Nicole, I guess. Past Nicole is obviously much cooler than I am. Get my trusty scissors. Wow, that came out really southern. From the south? Nope. Are talking southern accent? I don't know. <laughs> So the inside of the box, it's 10,000 new items every single day. It's got cute pink, not pink, cute greenish polka dotted tissue paper. The box is tissue paper. Okay, so you guys watched the video and it had in there like what my preferences, preferences and stuff were to receive. So let's see how close we hit the mark in these items. Okay, so the first thing we have is a athletic top from Gap, and it is pretty cute. I did put in that I would like some athletic style clothes, and it's just a top. It's just pink. This caught my eye. This caught my eye. What? What is this? Um, oh, this does have a tag on it. This says it was from Urban Outfitters and was $60, but I honestly don't know what this is. Is it a shirt? It's like a velvet. That's interesting. I will definitely try this on. I 
off the bat don't like it but <laughs> we'll see so here's another thing I thought that I would absolutely hate and would be pointless to even try on but I actually kind of like it it is like velvet which I was like why why but I think the deep V is like really cool and I'm sure you're supposed to wear like a cami or something underneath but I think if that were me I would just pin it here and then kind of leave it open and I think that the peplum at the bottom is so freaking adorable like I don't know where I would wear this I don't know when I would wear this <laughs> but I really, I really kind of actually like it. Now this top, oh, this must, this is maybe a dress, <laughs> a curly tunic. It's like denim and it's actually really cute. I actually like this a lot. This is from Morona, which I think is at Target. And everything so far has been pretty nice quality. I will say on this one, it is definitely got a hole in the pocket. So even if I did like this, I wouldn't get it because of that, but I'm interested just to try it and see if I would like this style because I actually have shirts like this that I bought from Target, but they were shirts, not like a dress. But it has pockets. It's a little short. This, I guess, is more of a tunic sort of situation. It comes very high up. It's got like a slit and it's okay. It's not my favorite. I definitely need a belt, I think, but the next thing in here is a dress, I'm guessing. It is hot pink. I don't remember if I gave like a color preference or not. I mean, it's hot pink. <laughs> I don't know about that. And it's pretty short. Like, it's, just, it's pretty short. I like this one no I don't I don't like this one it is so pink it is so pink and the straps are adjustable which is actually nice because for me I have you know a smaller chest area so that is nice I can adjust that but I find myself with this one to pull, to make it look nice I want to pull it up but then because of the shortness of the skirt I want to pull it down and then it doesn't look good so I'm in like this weird situation where I guess this is more of a tunic I would say at least for me I could never go out with this it does have an underliner a liner which is nice but it is like so close to my butt I, it gave them my age <laughs> I feel like this is for like a 12 year old like this would be a good outfit for a 12 year old I also put in a pair of jeans which feel weird are they shiny is that why they feel weird it says legging jeans Ooh, i don't know about these they've got like weird like knee guard things happening and they just feel really stiff and strange um they're black they're cute they're from it says gap 1969 so that's not a bad price for gap jeans i don't think they look perfectly fine except they might be a little shiny and they a little strange so we'll try them on which are extremely uncomfortable they have this like weird bend patch thing in the knees and it's strange because I literally cannot bend my knees well at all like this is this is a lot they're not stretchy I thought they were said they were jean leggings I mean they did say they were jeggings but I think they said they were jean leggings and I think by legging they just meant so tight onto your leg you'll be extremely uncomfortable and hot and sweaty and you won't be able to walk and I think it's because yeah I don't like it the next thing on the list is what are these things? oh leggings <laughs> I thought it was like a top or a skirt for some reason but they're they're leggings duh oh my god like I said athletic wear so these are leggings they I don't know if they'll pass any sort of squat test. They look fairly see-through. I don't know if you can see through them or not, but I certainly can. And yeah, I don't know quite about these. I don't know why I sound like that either. And the logo on it is kind of rubbed off as well. I think these are cropped, so or like Capri style. So I, they don't come up high enough in my opinion. I prefer mine high-waisted. Um, it kind of cuts me off right in my belly, which is not a great look for me. 
the fabric is not as stretchy as I would like. It's stretchy, but then it makes it kind of like sheer looking and I don't like that. Next is more athletic legging things, which also look short. I don't know, for me, I just prefer leggings that are like, you know, to the ground personally, so I don't have to shave my legs. But the, <laughs> the logo on this one appears to be intact. These are from Tough Athletics, because I am tough, I suppose. These also might be too big. Oh, these have a zipper too. These must have a pocket. Oh yeah, these have a side pocket too. Nice. I kind of wish they had a pocket on the legs. I really want leggings with a pocket on the legs. And they don't come high enough for me. This one is nicer because it does have the zipper right here to put stuff in. And it does come down to almost a full length, which I like better. So those are the leggings. Is a t-shirt from Nike, which is awesome. I like the um, design on it. It's not actually like sewn in or anything. It's actually just a design, but it is interesting. I do like it. It is very soft. It's actually really comfortable. It fits pretty nicely. I personally do not like athletic t-shirts. I was hoping for like a bra or a crop top, but it's nice, it's comfortable. Don't know that it's for me though, but I do like the color. I like the designs on the side. It's all right, it's all right. Next up is another Nike dry fit shirt. This one is a white. This one would look really cute if you had a really cute sports bra on underneath. White is always like, you know, a dangerous sort of situation, but I think this would be really adorable. It's interesting because on the sizes that you choose, you have to choose like sizes that would fit you. And you know, they don't give you like brands for everything. So I put in tops, you know, medium or large in dresses, you know, I put like medium or large because depending on the top or the dress and how it's cut, you know, I can fit in either one. I can even fit in small sometimes, just depending, but you know, I didn't want to go that small and just, you know, hate buying something that I hated. And I like this one too. I don't know. It's white though. And it kind of doesn't move as comfortably. And yeah, I don't, I, I don't know about this so this is a shirt, I guess, from DKNY. It's a black shirt. Like, it, like this one is a large. The other one that I just hauled up was a medium. They looked identical to me <laughs> in size, if you know what I'm saying. So this one I think is just a shirt, so it's not like athletic or anything. This is just like a black shirt. It's not like t-shirt material. It's kind of this like weird, fancier material, which is why I kind of don't like it, but... I actually think that the shape and everything is really cute and it kind of makes me feel a little bit like a greaser, <laughs> you know, but I feel like if I had like a jean jacket or like a leather jacket, I could look super cool in this. I do feel like this fabric is going to be really hot and uncomfortable though, so I definitely am not getting it, but I actually am surprised. I do like it. It's plain, it's simple, and it feels cool. So I feel like if it was like a soft t-shirt material that this would be something I would be into. A lot of stuff in this bag, guys. Okay, so the next thing in here is from LuLaRoe, which is interesting. I mean, I guess it's, you know, a resale shop, so you're gonna get all kinds of clothes, but this is a LuLaRoe shirt. It's, what is this? I have, I own LuLaRoe, which is probably why they sent it to me. Is this like a Randy or is this, this three quarter inch sleeve shirt. I'm thinking it's a Randy shirt. It looks really big though. I own a Randy and it's not this big. And I own in a medium. I don't know, I feel like this maybe got stretched out or something. It's really soft though, actually. This top is really soft. I do like how soft it is. It is like crazy, like big. The sleeves are just like massively large on me. I don't know what the deal is because I definitely have one of these and like, a different, the same size, but I guess a different material. Oh, this is really cute. Guys, I think I found something that I actually really like. Not that I disliked everything else, but this I really like. This is from Chris and Carol. This is a shirt, and I think you wear it this way, but it has black and white on the elbows and cute little button design down the back. And that's freaking adorable. The buttons don't actually work, which is kind of a bummer, but it's still really cute. So this is the top that I really liked, and I still really like it. I love the little elbow pads, 
the shirt is just so soft and comfortable. I feel like it has like a good shape where it kind of flares out at the bottom for me. It has the buttons in the back, which are adorable, and the little like flappy things in the back, which is so cute. So I'm like really, really into this one. We have a tank top shirt, which I really don't like. And I went from one that I really like to one I really don't like. This is a size large. This looks way too big for me. Like specifically like in this part. And I do not, I don't like this color. I don't like the design on the top. Yeah, I really don't. I really don't think this is gonna look good on me. This is $17.99. I would never pay that for a used tank top. I actually don't hate it as much as I thought I would. I thought I would absolutely hate it. I thought that the armholes would be too big, but actually they're perfect. This does not bother me as much as I thought that it would. I think it actually looks kind of cute. Okay, so the next thing is actually pretty cute. This is a dress. Ooh, now this one might be too small. <laughs> it feels really stretchy, so I think it will fit, but it does look a little tight. So this is a medium from Rolla Costa. I don't know what that brand is. I'm not into brands. This is kind of like a little skater sort of dress. This is really cute, actually. I really like this. I can't wait to see what this looks like on. I'm actually really excited about trying this one on. Really into this dress. I think it is so flattering on me. Like, I kind of have like a mom tummy sort of situation, but this somehow camouflages it and kind of like confuses the eye so it doesn't look like I do. And I just like how it comes out. It is like so incredibly soft. I love it. The back has this cute little detail and it scoops down really nice. This dress is a keeper. I like this one. We have reached the end of our unboxing portion of this video to uncover a dress from H&M, which is, dear lord, H&M H H sizing is just horrendous so I hope they got me this in a large it says it's a US 10 I have an H&M dress that I had to get in like a US 16 or 18 even though I wear a 10 in every other sort of dress style and even eights sometimes um so we'll see I I mean this actually looks well, on the larger side maybe this is they fixed their sizing or whatever it does have an under well, no, that's just a bra thing. So it has a bra thing in here. I thought it was going to be like a liner, but there is no liner, I don't think. No, there is no liner. It's just like this bra thing, I guess, because the neck is low. So we'll see about that. I don't know. I'm not super into this color or anything. The design is interesting, too. You don't know about this. So they sent me 15 items, and 